Hi everyone, it's Monique from Butterbee Scraps. I'm just doing this video of a quick page I made. Actually, a friend of mine, Monica, over at Scrapping for My Boys, asked me to create a page for her. She's putting together an album with all of her friends and contacts' names, so uh, asked me to do one for me. This here is a picture of me. I just, uh, I'm not very photogenic, so wanted to cover that up for the video, you know. Um, so basically what I did, it's just, I made a chipboard, covered the chipboard, and I used the Tim Holtz, um, ornate, I think it's the ornate die, on the edge die. Um, you can see I have some metal pieces from my store here, and all I did was fold those in half and glue them on the edge of the page. I, this is actually a Sizzix die, the frame is a Sizzix die, and I cut it from grunge board. And I didn't... I wasn't quite sure what to do with it, but I like how it turned out. Basically what I did, if you take a close look, you can actually see the grunge board color through it. I just took my Versamark pad and went over the whole surface and put some, I think this is like an aged gold embossing powder. And you can see how it only stuck to some parts. I can't even remember. I may have even flicked some off. So I did that and then I edged it with uh, black soot ink. To create that and of course added some black Swarovski crystals throughout. Over here I actually used the Tim Holtz tattered florals die and all these papers I used are graphic 45. Um, I put a 31 in the center because 31 is the day of the month my birthday is. I've got some wires here, some of these crystals from my stash. You can see a doily tucked under there. This here is a crocheted flower that I created myself, and I've layered a couple of the flower centers from my store in the center there. This is a mulberry paper flower, which I inked. I actually wanted to change the color slightly, so. And this here is another little crocheted butterfly that I made myself. And on the edge here, I just have some chain and this little peacock charm can be found in my store as well. So on the back side, what I did was I created this pocket and I just grabbed a couple of different papers, layered them, tore the edge, folded them over just to create a little bit more interest. Also have another crocheted flower of mine with a couple more flower centers. This here is actually cut from one of the square filigrees in my shop. I believe the number is 003. Got some mulberry paper flowers and rosebuds. Again, I inked those to coordinate with the paper here. And then I just stuffed a bunch of tags in here. Most of them are blank on both sides. I just put them in there, I don't know, for fun. And then I included one of my business cards with my birthday written on the back there. So yeah, that's my page. Um, quick, easy. Actually, it wasn't very quick for me to make. I am a very, very slow scrapbooker, so anyways, I hope you like the project. Um, if you're wondering what these items are, in the description box below, I will put actually a list of the item numbers so that you know where to go to find them. And I will also put a link to my store. That's uh, Butterbee Scraps on Zibit. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the page. Bye-bye.